Hey everybody, this is Dean DaCosta of The Search Authority. Today we're doing a very special video. This is a video that has come about because of uh, some posting on Facebook about how do I source on Twitter. And so I'm going to give you some ideas. Now, am I going to tell you these are the only ways? No, of course not. There's a plethora of ways to do this, but I'm going to give you a whole bunch of them. They all start and stop pretty much with the SSAR page, Staffing, Sourcing, and Recruiting. Access to this page can be found on the SourceCon Facebook page. You look for the right posts, there's a couple of videos to teach you how to use it, and then there's links to the actual page. This page has got thousands of, of links and, and, and um, listings of tools and information and pretty much everything you want to know but you're afraid to ask. So we're going to start first and foremost on the Twitter. As you can see, there's a whole plethora of twist, Twitter stuff here for you. We're going to start right here in the simple place. Search for Twitter list. We're going to open that bad boy up. What I'm also going to do is come over here, make sure my Pitbull extension on because that's going to be important for us here. And we're going to sit here. I normally do Java and stuff like that, but we're going to do some different things today. We're going to do um, registered, register, as soon as I learn how to spell, registered nurse. And the reason we're doing that is because a lot of people need nurses. We get a lot of lists. These are lists of nurses. Um, so we got to figure out which one do we want to use. So let's see here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's go with uh, bloggers. Let's try that one. See what that is. Okay, so we have research bloggers, research blogging, registered. Uh, I don't see anything here. Oh, wait a minute. This is the first vaccine against the parasite. I see. So these are mainly bloggers as it relates to um medical and specifically registered now you see there's a boatload here so it's not like anything it's not like there aren't plenty of them so we just find the one we're interested in. follows the fear department are registered in fear nope we don't want that we don't want that we don't want that um none of this is getting me what i want we're going to try page two real quick um see we got registered dietitians um those who attended beer bloggers conference not worried about that boom 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 so not getting registered uh, i might have misspelled it so let's try that and um i don't even know how to spell registered evidently i did i did spell it right it appears so um let's go ahead and get rid of registered nurse and just try oh let's try this let's try rm i mean that's short for registered nurse right let's see what that gets us um let's make sure we did it right i actually had the wrong thing in there all right let's see do 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 Ah, uh, wait a minute. This is n not in English, but that is RN. So let's go to page two, see what else we can get. Uh, bah, 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 re RN programs on Twitter. Now that's interesting. Now does that mean registered nurse or not? Let's do this. Let's do RN and add in the word nurse just to make it clear what kind of RNs. Were. Ah, best nurses on Twitter who shape health resources and diet. Okay, let's see who share, shape, whatever. Let's go in here. Oh, sorry, that page does exist. That does happen from time to time to where you get a list that no longer is there. Nurse directors and other nurses on Twitter and senior life. Okay, let's go there. See if that list exists. Uh, oh, my Lord, look at that. Nurse directors. Okay, fine. Uh, we got that many members, that many subscribers. I think the members is kind of what we're going to want because odds are that they're going to be the ones that are going to be people that fit this category so let's see and look at all chief nurse executive nurse a partridge in a pear tree nurse now we can use zap info uh before i do this let me go ahead and make sure i have a clean zap info i do not so what we're going to do is get rid of everybody i already have in my zap uh and we're going to use zap info which is a a, a scraping tool and we're going to scrape all these people uh 20 or 20 perfect i didn't want more and we're now we're going to view our site there were more than 20 there there's only 20 on the page and what you see it doing is it's grabbing the people it's even trying to see if there's any way to uh, get more contact info. One, you see this thing's still going. It's still looking. But I'm going to kind of cheat it and make it do it again just in case. I find sometimes you got to do it more than once to really get what you need. So we're going to do this and we're going to wait. And we're going to pick somebody. Let's pick this person, Allison Cannon. So we got the Twitter page, which is great. We got a picture. This is more than enough information to go ahead and put into a hire tool, a seek out, something like that to find more info. We can also go up here to suggestions. Let's see what it does. And it's found me a boatload of possible email addresses, a plethora of them. Now, what you can start doing is one by one is, tr is um, you can grab them all, uh, which is what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to come over here and open up another page, which is where I put my my online editor. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight one. We're going to do this particular one. I don't know why. Use the Zap Info tool to do a lookup. And we're going to look them up first on Pipple. Let's see what email address does that thing go to. And we're going to notice a whole bunch of information here, nothing of which is really, t for a fact, let me know which who's the right person, anything like that. Um, I could put in the word nurse just to double check and get some more information or and everything, but the reality is I could probably find them here if I really put do a control F and let's see if the word nurse appears. It doesn't, so they may be on the second page, third page whatever and I can do the same thing go through every single solitary email here one at a time until I find what I'm looking for that said there are other ways to do it as well so let's get out of this and get out of our let's get out of this let's get out of this let's backtrack and get back to our our list like I said you can download this and upload it there are a lot of tools I'll find information for you and so in the meantime what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of the zap and get back here now why am I doing that because I'm gonna go ahead and do it a different way there are multiple ways to do this so now I just gotta remember the name of the person I was following. I believe it was Allison Cannon so let's go on her actual page and see what we says the journey starts here well here's what appears to be work uh, her work URL. Now she is in the UK, so that tells us some pieces of information, not in the US. Let's see what if any of these tools show me anything. It doesn't look like any of them are going to show me anything. Matter of fact, the page, oh, it's, oh, it was waiting. It wasn't done. So let's see. Ah, um, not a whole lot on her. Let's see if uh, this one, nope, just Twitter. We're not getting a whole lot of info on other pages on her, but that's okay because we're not done. We do know her username is Allison Cannon 14 so we could probably use that to easily find your email. Let's see if Context Scout happens to have anything on her. No, nope, no email found, so that isn't going to help us, uh, and that's okay. We're not done here. We do know that she's in Sussex, and we do know that she's the head of nursing for East Surrey. East Surrey. So let's go ahead and highlight that let's go back to our zap let's go back to our lookup and let's try linkedin next place to look now i suspect there's going to be a few in here and that's okay because what we're going to do next is we're going to go back here and remember she is the chief nursing officer so let's do that and let's add in the word nursing and see what that gets us and she may not be in here don't get me wrong. I have no way to Okay, we got a couple here. Right, Associate Director at Brigham Sussex University Hospital. That could be her. And that one's probably not her. That one's probably not her, but that probably is her. And the reason I say that is because it's in, she's talking about Sussex. Everything lines up right. She just may have a new title than she did then. So let's open the bad boy up. Give it a minute. Okay, I like it. Everything I'm seeing here, Associate Director, University Hospital. Let's see here. I'm not seeing a whole lot. We do have emails, so that's good. Um, the I would venture to say the odds are pretty darn good this is her, to be quite honest with you. Um, I would be very surprised if that's not her. Oh, that's right. Pipple, Pipple needs to actually see the full email. So let's go ahead and use down here and show it. Okay. Interesting. This is the email. It does line up. I'd venture to say that is more than likely her. But what we're going to do is copy it. And once we've copied it, we're going to go ahead and use this one to open up Pipple since it hasn't doing it, done anything. And we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to add in, oops, excuse me. We're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to come back here and copy the right email. Go back in there and put it and see what happens. Al Sam from Brighton, England, Associate Director, Universe App, blum, 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 blum. Alison Brighton, LinkedIn, Facebook. Ooh, she's on Facebook, too. Let's go into her Facebook profile and see if perhaps, oh, she's not on Facebook. thought she was. She's not. Um, but at any rate, at this point, I'd have to say that is more than likely her. Now, the uh, and, and we got down here, uh, eastbound Williamson NHS HQ, so I'm betting that's where she works. And if that's the, oh, that site, we can't reach it. It's probably because it's a UK site, so we'd need to do some games to see it, but that's okay. I'd have to say we probably have the right person, but we're going to go ahead and do one more thing. We're going to do a... Um, a picture search, an image search and we're going to search all the images using an image search uh, extension and Allison Cannon good that's her good 
this could not her this could be her it does say veterinarian so we don't think she's a veterinarian uh let's go there's twitter so that matches her twitter she's got more than one twitter does she allison cat 14 ounce cat 14 ounce cat nope she's got only the one twitter let's keep going ah health care show ridsner she's nerf and director of quality east surrey wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute director of quality east surrey blah, blah, director of bryce yes i believe that's her we got it yep associate director of quality bring them use care that's her we've got validation to her with an email there you go that's how it can go that's how simple it can go i just love a plan when it comes together you get you just gotta love plans when they come together and this one came together it took a little time but sometimes that, it takes time but you gotta understand you're finding somebody that may not be available anywhere else so in addition to that we have twitter search twitter has an advanced search capability you can put in anything you want hashtags whatever and search and you will find people i'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details showing you because lord knows i don't want to make this video 48 billion minutes long dates everything uh so this will find you people and it's in the ssar page direct link actually a bunch of chrome extensions that can help you are listed there as well another type of twitter search is here which is not um which is related but it's just to see what's going on right now you get to see who's talking about what right now as you see these are the things trending the most biden anita hill and stuff but if i put in the word registered nurse you'd see a whole bunch of stuff that you'd get a list of things that are trending related to registered nurses and frankly if it's trending related to registered nurses anybody following it or who's do posting it probably a registered nurse um a whole bunch of tools here like i said i don't want to go through them all because there are just too many i do want to go through some custom search engines that have been built so one of the ones we're going to go through is uh this one right here which i love this is written by greg hawks uh which is a simple one and we're going to continue down our theme of registered nurse because that's what we're looking for and there we go we get a whole bunch we get twitter handles we can go twitter handles and these are going to be twitter handles relevant to being a registered nurse we want to get if we want to get rid of jobs stuff like that we just put minus job minus jobs uh this person as a registered nurse on the internet mobile stroke this is what i do well okay if that's let's let's think about this for a minute as a, as a registered nurse so she's a registered nurse that tells you what you need to know she's a registered nurse at New York NYP Queens. Well, look at the page we're on. We're on New York Presbyterian. Half these people here could be nurses. 21 tweets, 4,345 followers. Most of the people following it are probably worked there, in which case, guess what? They could be a doctor, could be a nurse, could be a lot of different things. But my point is, you're, you're getting the general idea of how you can use this to search and find people. And then you follow the breadcrumbs. But there's a whole lot of information. Now, you can be sneaky, which I love doing at times. And let's see how sneaky we can get. I'm going to do quote gmail.com. Oops, what the hell? Oh, I accidentally opened data miner. Let me get out of here and try this again. Gmail.com, close quote. Let's see what happens now. Oh, registered nurse. They're a registered nurse, and there's their email just now. Why would they do that? Oh, I know why, because they want to be found. And there's only uh, 1,010 of them. Uh, pathway to work as a registered Okay, now they want to hire somebody, so that isn't going to help you. We could get rid of This person's a resident, is born and trained in Canada. Okay, good for you, but guess what? email there are at least 11 of them just on this first page of results and there are a lot of there's over a thousand so there you go adding an email remember that's just gmail there are yahoo and hotmail and outlook and 26 domains that 95 percent of americans have an email address with and everything and that information can be found on the ssar page all of it by the way just just letting you know in addition to all this you can do image searches as well now the last thing i'm going to show you as it relates to this is osint now osint stands for open source intelligence be careful my next book is on osint and once it's written and you all see it you all can do whatever you want because it'll teach you how to stay out of trouble how to do things how not to do things but i'm going to show you this specific thing as it relates to osint because it's really cool we're going to go to intellitechniques and the reason we're going there is because they have built a set of tools uh twitter right there the twitter tool where you can do all sorts of, you can search based on twitter names even by twitter dates you can search 
by metadata. You could search by images. You could search by terms and locations and all sorts of neat stuff. So it's just mind boggling. You can search based on specific timelines. So let's do this. Let's put this back to February. Do this. We're going to do registered nurse. We're going to submit and it's going to open up Twitter and we're going to see everything that's been relevant to registered nurses in that time frame. And the very first thing is I am a registered nurse. I use a thesoscope. I work in the emergency room. OK. That, good. <laughs> but let's open it up and see what we got. Well, I'm g guessing she's a registered nurse. Could be wrong. Uh, and I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing as far as the fact she's definitely a registered nurse. Uh, her name, okay, this is Sarah Kamu. Here's somebody, uh, something down there, something going on here. She, she annoyed somebody. And now it's just a matter of finding contact information for them, in which case there's a plot of ways to do it. Um, this particular human predictions didn't find anything. Zambifo might. Um, she is an EU nurse, wife, mother, cheap wine connoisseur. I'm no particular order. We can, there's her username. We could just as easily do that. If she's using that username now, she's probably used it in other places. Let's go ahead and see, just, oops, excuse me. Let's just do a regular Google. That's Google for LinkedIn. Indeed, contact out two people. None of them is what I want to do right now. Um, so let, instead of using that tool, we're going to go to the sales search, another really good tool. We're going to look under the Google for that username and there's her Facebook page maybe there's a whole bunch of things as it relates to her it could be that her username is being that that username is being used by several people so but this is the one we're looking for so we know we're not totally far off so you just do a little research you look into it and figure it out uh, let's do that let's do the word nurse to get a little more specific to our person and how much you want to bet that could be her or that could be her one of these is probably her and there you go uh that's how simple this can be but you can find her pretty easy another thing we can do with her username that i didn't do is we can go ahead and see if pipple comes up with anything based on the username now sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does usernames are tricky so there's the usernames we have to find the right one that matches her based hopefully there's a picture here i'm not seeing a picture so what we would need to do is look for the word nurse and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a at control f put in the word nurse see if it shows up doesn't uh doesn't mean she's not here it just means well you know we don't have it yet so then we're stuck with that so the next thing we can do and mind you we've already got more than enough to do we've already kind of got it figured out is to go ahead and try the picture search and so we're going to do a search by image we're going to search all the different places four of them uh let's see what this one's going to give me uh this one is the bing and bing doesn't tend to give you a lot it just shows you the picture and other pictures that she may have so we'll get out of that one uh yandex uh showed us some stuff her twitter we already know about that interesting enough it also shows some of the other people connected to her which is really cool so that means you know if they're connect they're either friends or other nurses uh, uh badu did show us nothing tinai does though tinai shows us a few things mainly her it's related to her twitter page but there's some other things the google search right here I hate when it uses when it does this. It, it just picks something like, oh, they're together, so they're friends. That's what we're going to search under. But we see we're not. We're going to take that out of there and go, nurse, please. And since she's a nurse, we're going to add two and two together with the picture and see what we get. And we get a bunch of things about nursing, which makes sense. And we come down here. Okay, well, well BuzzFeed. Ah, she's on BuzzFeed. And she's using, da, 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 we'll have to look at that in a minute. She's twi tweeting, so that's no big deal. There's another page. Before we do that, let's go on to BuzzFeed, because I find this is interesting. 14 nurses who can do more than just play cards. Interesting. So I'm guessing one of them is our Ernst Weil um, nurse. There's a bunch of them there. And... Yeah, this is a lot of really good info. We should have no problem figuring out who she is and where she is and where she works and getting all that just from there. But let's see what else we have. We do have a page two, and sometimes page two can be better than page one. Uh, let's see. Nope, more Twitter. Oh, a PQ. Interesting. She's in PQ. 
well, PQ is actually a site where you can find usernames to see where else they're located. That's what PQ really is. So let's see. That PQ, that's her. That could be her. Lower General Hospital, that could be her. She's a transcribeness, so that's probably not her. So what you would do here is just go through all of these PQs, all five pages, until you find one who's a nurse. And that's all you got to do. Find one who's a nurse. Now, we can play the username game and pick the username and just keep looking it up as well. But if you just keep going here, you're going to find one who's a nurse, and you'll be good to go. Let's see if there's any location information in this picture by chance. No particular, no vacation, no information here about that. Now, I could do a geotag search and see where most of her pictures are taken and figure it out, but I'm not going to go through that. That's a little more serious OSINT stuff that we don't want to get into. But I think you got the general idea. I mean, finding her isn't going to be hard. It's just a matter of marrying things up correctly. I'm correctly. And I haven't even tried to look for her on LinkedIn yet. Um, you know, I've been trying to do it off LinkedIn. So let's, let's try that. We know she's a nurse. Let's go in here. Let's do uh, LinkedIn. She may not be on LinkedIn, although would that be funny as heck? Um, let's see. Let's see here. Okay, and we're going to put in, as soon as we get this here, we're going to add here. We know she's a nurse, so let's add in the word nurse. We're going to push there, and we got two of them. So the question is, which one is it? Well, this one says quality assurance manager. This one says actual nurse. Let's open that up, nurse.com, nurse.texashealth. Let's see. Let's let it reload because I have some tools make it reload a dozen times or two. Um, I'd have to say at this point, this is more than likely her. I'd be hard pressed to imagine this is not her. So long story short, plethora of ways to search and look, and the OSINT tool here that can help you out. So long story sir, sir, uh, to long story short, this is how you search on Twitter. There are others, but this is the biggies. It's the simplest. You're gonna have to follow the breadcrumbs a little bit. So this is Dean DeCosta of the Search Authority, and we were talking searching on Twitter.